Victoria. Um, so for my story, I decided to actually just go ahead and kind of unplug myself from technology. And so right now, I have gotten rid of my computer, my iPad, and my phone will also be going away soon. Um, I am videotaping from my phone right now, but that's the only time I will be using it except for to uh, do things that are within my job means. So if someone calls me for an interview, I will be um, speaking with them on the phone, but it will be cut off from personal ties, so no text messaging or personal phone calls or any of that sort. So it'll definitely be interesting and stay tuned. Hi everyone, so now it's day two. Um, I stopped using all technology yesterday at 5 p.m., so I haven't been on my phone or using any type of internet or watching TV, and um, it's going. Uh, last night I went to bed pretty early, um, but I did spend most of the uh, night actually reading, so so far I've read two magazines and I'm halfway through a book, so I am being pretty productive, I will say that. Um, I just came from a um, shooting some video for work, so... That's why I'm kind of up this early, but um, I know today might be a little bit more difficult just because I have to go an entire day without technology, but, you know, I'm hoping I'll be even more productive and get some things done. There were some times I found myself picking up my phone and wanting to click on Instagram, but then I remember, oh yeah, I can't do that. So a lot of things I do uh, subconsciously and I don't even realize it. But I made sure that I put my iPad up and my computer up so those aren't even in sight. But my phone, I keep it around for emergencies, for one. Um, I don't want anything to happen to me and not be able to contact anyone. And if someone needs to get in contact with me for an emergency purposes or for work, I would want them to contact me. So my phone is around, which drives temptation, but I'm learning to suppress that. <laughs> so I'll be back soon. So I have to explain my frustrations. Um, I just tried to go somewhere and realized that I didn't know how to get there. <laughs> um, because I normally use my phone to uh, search it, Google map it, to uh, have it tell me where to go. I didn't have that. So I um, want to say my trip was very long. I um, got off at the wrong exit, but I did make it there. <sighs> Yes, and I was just supposed to go to dinner with some friends, but uh, once I got there, I found out no one else was there yet, but I didn't know that because I couldn't call anyone ahead of time to say, hey, what's going on? So, yeah, it's been a lot of um, wasted time today when all of that could have been eliminated. Hi, everyone. I'm back. It's finally been 48 hours without any technology. And I have to say, it hasn't been as bad as I thought it was going to be. Um, it was pretty difficult at times, um, such as yesterday, when I didn't have my GPS or couldn't contact anyone. But it's actually been pretty good. It's very calming. Um, I wasn't constantly trying to check up and see what the world was doing or constantly checking the news to see what was going on in the world. And all those things add stress to our everyday lives. And... Yeah, I didn't have that. I mean, I did have my phone kind of like blow up and my emails. I have over 150 emails right now that I'm going to check. Um, it's about 7 o'clock, a little after 7. And so I started using technology. I was allowed to use it back at 5, but um, at 7, and I just actually now just turned on TV. So, um, like I said, it's been very peaceful but challenging at times. So, um, I guess I'll be back to... <laughs> Um, scrolling on Instagram and um, back to Twitter, but I think this is something everyone should um, experience, if not for a whole weekend, but at least for maybe a day. Just take your phone, maybe if you're on vacation from work, um, take your phone, turn it off, you know, don't worry about your emails for a day. Just like mentally unwind. It's very, very relaxing. Like I said, I got to read a couple of books. One that was really good. It's called The Energy Bus, which I think you should read. Um, but so I read a couple of books, a couple of magazines. I learned some things about the city and other cities and whatever else I was reading. So, yeah, I mean, overall, it was a good experience. Um, but, you know, I think technology is something that we can go out, or can go without. We just make it seem as if it's something that we need all the time and we're so addicted. But... 
you'll realize after a while that it is very, very peaceful. All right, well, thank you for following my journey. <laughs>